guys and welcome back to Elden Ring so here we're gonna go and we're gonna face Godric now Godric is gonna be a tough one uh, I'm I don't think we're gonna be able to but I'm gonna set it up just to be safe um those guys aren't gonna really be a much use We're going to summon Nefeli, and uh, Godric is a very, very difficult fight with two phases. Um, his first phase is uh, is kind of chaotic, but his second phase is even more so. So, I'm not going to watch the cutscene. If you want to see the cutscene and everything else, make sure you go check out the Let's Play series with my mage. Um, I'll have it linked somewhere, probably in the caption cards or something like that. Ooh. Can I? I can. So. The, the big thing with Godric is he he's essentially an airbender that has gone absolutely insane right oh if you're a melee character oh if he laughs get away from him because he does that ground attack and it does massive damage and there's two forms of that ground attack God, I can't get close to him. Nefeli does a crazy amount of damage, by the way. There we go. Oh, like that. God. I was hoping I was going to be able to tank it. Okay, so this is where he comes and starts his second phase. He chops off his own arm. And in, in doing so, in the cutscene, he puts his hand into a dragon head. And somehow the dragon head comes alive. Because Souls games. Once... Oh god, I forgot it's a triple. So... Anytime he laughs, you want to try to get as much distance from him as possible, which I failed to do multiple times there because I'm talking and I'm not thinking. Like, I'm saying it, but I'm not reacting to it, I should say. Um, you want to try to split his attention as much as possible. And I would say having the Sorcerer Ashes is probably going to be your best bet, even though the Sorcerer didn't seem like it's doing all that much. It's still just that that much more damage. You know, just a little bit more DPS is always nice. Uh, Nefeli, the the warrior that we picked up last time. Crap! I didn't roll the second one. Uh, Nefeli can carry this fight hard if she's given the chance to and if she isn't killed off. When he goes like that, try to dodge the axe instead of block it because the blocking the axe will take most of the uh, block meter if you have full block. Oh, there goes the sorcerer.
Oh, this is going to be a tough run. I, I have a feeling this is going to be a busted run. So you'll have runs like this. And uh, honestly, it's alright. Especially since, like, you're not spending any of the, the furl fingers or anything like that if you're not summoning people. Damn, yeah, well. Um... It's almost worth it to just let him kill you at that point and just reset. If if you're not getting the DPS at the very beginning and you really, really need the DPS at the very beginning, I might try the jellyfish again. The jellyfish really came through really strong before. So let me uh, let me switch this for the jellyfish. Because the, the poison really, really was nice. What are you doing? You alright there, buddy? I don't know if he can actually get poisoned, so... Sugar nuts! Well, I at least dodged the second one. I really did not know he was staggered right there. I think the thing with the jellyfish is it just staggers so well. Okay, phase two. One of the one of the biggest things you gotta look out for, ooh, is there's gonna be a point where he tries to grab you with the dragon head. You cannot let him grab you with the dragon head. If he does, you're you're essentially done for. Oh god. No! It was such a good run! I just needed another dodge! God, and I bet you he was so close to stagger. So I think the jellyfish is the way to go. So once again, jellyfish and uh, this time have Nefeli with you and just... It's a lot of trial and error, a lot of DPS at the very beginning if you can. Try not to blow all of your flasks at the beginning. Um, he's... Once you start to get his moves down, you kind of... Ow. Don't blow all of your flasks at the beginning as I blow a flask right at the beginning. Good job, me. Where's where's my jellyfish? Oh, moved away. Okay, well... It was, it was it was just a reset it was just a reset just a full reset all around i blew it was gonna be two flasks blown there was like no damage the felly had already blown a flash it was it, it sometimes you just gotta reset and that's okay no harm no foul you know what i only just noticed like 40 minutes into uh this I had this ability to add another flask, which means I probably would have beaten it by now because I would have had six flasks. Make sure you don't forget about your golden seeds, everybody.
No, 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 no. Yes, yes, all oh, the poison. Oh, the poison. Oh, the poison, baby. Oh. And that, ladies and gentle people, is how you defeat Godric. <laughs> that was not a very clean run. Um, a lot of... Ooh, we can use the Great Hammer now. A lot of the, the battle is trying to get behind him, right? And a lot of the battle is just knowing when his attacks are going to, like, stall him for a minute. Um, I always try to roll into him whenever he does, like, his crazy, like, roll, uh, wind turbine, wind turbine, wind turbine, crazy roll around, axe swing down thing. I always try to roll into him because I know I can get at least one heavy off or two light attacks off. Um, and I always try to go for heavy attacks because then I can repose him and that does a little bit extra damage, especially if I can get it whenever he's getting close to his dragon form. And then I all like whenever I'm going to or he's going into phase two and he's about to chop off his arm, you go behind him, start hitting him in the butt while he's chopping off his arm. You get that little extra damage. A as you can see, every single point of damage helps there. Alright, so that and after all that grafting, where did that get you? Look down on me, would ya? Godric, you filthy slug. Feel it. Feel it. Feel my bloody wrath. Oh. This the uh, I don't think he actually gives you anything. But uh yeah. He that's the guy that was at the beginning. So before we uh before we end this episode, there is more like behind there, but we're gonna go back to um this because there's one more thing to do after beating Godric. And uh, we have to go to the Tower Bridge, which I covered in the last episode of this guide series, it, how to get this Lost Grace. So if you missed that, make sure you go back and get it. Uh, I covered how to get to this very easily, I should say. Uh, but we head back to here. And uh, we got to start crossing this bridge. And this bridge is uh is a little insane it's a little crazy because uh there's some craziness that happens but you just run run across you don't you don't look back you don't look at it they can't see you if you can't see them so you just ignore them sometimes okay well they they well you know what you know that thing that i said about they can't see you if you can't see them well, I lied. They they totally were able to see me right there. <laughs> Whatever means... Oh, this guy has a bow and arrow. Oh, and he hurts. Whatever means necessary. See that little thing right there? We're getting to that. Bomb, baby! No, no. Yes, go! Before he shoots? Oh. Okay. I only ever killed one of those things, and they respawn, and I was like, yeah, no, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, and so the reason why I'm doing this now instead of in a regular video is because it is kind of important. Uh, there is an item on the left, I think on the second one over here. There's no enemies. Well... There's these, like, bigger eagles, but I don't think they even have... Yeah, here it is. Golden Ruin. Really? Yeah, here. Bird. Um, 
that's the only item on the the whole bridge you can go back and it's a pretty nice view but if you come here before you face godric and beat him you're not able to actually open up this door right here it is only after you defeat godric and get the rune that you are able to open up this door and you're able to get inside and this is important i i don't know if a lot of the general base knows this but i wanted to make sure that i highlighted it anyway because this is a guide series you take this elevator up here i found this on accident and i i thought of it because like on my on my stream uh character i've been like going through trying to be as meticulous as possible that way i don't miss everything or don't miss anything and that way i can like whenever i come to these videos i know what i'm talking about and know what i'm looking for but um i i found this tower and i couldn't get into it and i hadn't beaten god godric yet and i was like hmm i i don't know what's actually going on here and then it was like oh well i beat godric now so i wonder if i can actually go into this tower and uh it allowed me I d well how many how many do i need to level up now 4500 it you start to you start to level or need a lot to level up so there's no real secrets here there's nothing really crazy um you just come right into the middle here and you restore the power of the great rune now this is very important because now you get godric's rune so if you actually go to the table of lost grace your your hold i actually haven't gone to the hold very much in this series at all i haven't really covered it much at all um i probably will in the next episode because before we start getting into the next areas we are going to have to start really getting into some more stuff but now that godric is defeated if you come over to here check out this guy roger's here i apologize for and um i've defeated godric well done. Something to mark. and he gives you his rapier and it's a plus eight and it's all because like he can't really fight anymore he he's kind of like busted up and he's he's all kind of broken and stuff sometimes this library is open sometimes it isn't this guy is all angsty and stuff like that and whatever um there's these ladies you can buy some stuff off of them I think this is all like a lot of the starting equipment so if uh if you wanted to change up your fighting style or anything you can probably do so here i don't think this is the dagger for the uh the one thing i don't know oh it takes on the appearance of the cooperator oh there you go uh this is not the dagger of the that that gives you the blood loss that the bandit has but okay there you go that's how you get the what do you want where you like lean up against the wall um if you talk to the lady she should be right Ooh, did i not talk to the lady yeah you know uh about the legs on your chains yeah he's the prisoner uh you can i'm actually gonna upgrade this need more smithing stones uh she's supposed to be right there i don't know why she isn't but this lady over here gives you a hug i said i was going to cover it in the next episode but i might as well cover it now she uh she allows you to put your head into her boobs and she give you a hug and she'll give you a hug anytime you want so you ever feeling down down now and just world's a little too tough she'll come over and she'll warm what you felt light up inside you though it is come back to me i will take you and she'll give you a hug whenever you want it so yeah uh she she's kind of cool best best npc in the game she gives you a hug whenever you need it you know everybody needs a hug sometimes uh i don't know why jellyfish girl is in here she's supposed to be here i have the jellyfish maybe i messed it up but she yeah she's supposed to be here probably because i didn't talk to everybody here uh give her prayer book 
Oh, check that out. Very well. Oh, and then he can teach you new prayers. Check that out. So that's how you can get new prayers. Um, this dude doesn't really tell you much, and he tells you to find his servant. But the important thing is, is back here, this old lady. I'll let you guys kind of go over this. Uh, she, these fingers talk to you. It's weird. Um, but what this eventually does is if I really wanted to, I could get the remembrance of the grafted and I could turn it into the axe of Godric. Which requires 34 strength and 22 dexterity to wield, but it it's essentially the Godric's great axe that he was using against me, or I could get the dragon head that he was using against me, and that requires strength, dexterity, and faith to use. And so she's uh, these are essentially like the boss souls that you would get in the Dark Souls games, and. Uh, I'm sure that will start to become very important here in the future as well. So that is going to do it for this episode of uh, Elden Ring. I hope you guys found this to be informative and helpful. I know the Godric fight was probably painful to watch me die as many times as that I did. Remember, try to stay behind him. Learn his patterns. Uh punish him but don't be greedy um use the jellyfish the jellyfish with the poison comes in clutch even though it might not seem like it doesn't do very much as you saw the poison absolutely saved me and actually did the last tick of damage which barely 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 killed godric before i died um and don't get eaten like i did and i almost died uh and watch out for the fire attacks the fire attacks definitely will glitch through the terrain and hit you so make sure you're definitely careful about that as well so thank you guys so much for watching let me know what you thought down in the comments below let me know if there's any other ideas or ways that you found that make godric a little bit easier down in the comments below as well make sure you hit that like button and uh if you're new here subscribe and i will see all of you guys next time Peace. Before we go here, I want to give a big shout out to the patrons. Um, we got the Black TNT, Major Papa Chubbs, and Schmetter, all who are uh, patrons right now. And, you know, I couldn't thank these guys enough for the continued support. So thank you guys. And if you want to become a patron, check the link in the description below.